And today we're looking at totality of success part three. Totality of what? Success part three. Totality of success part three. Success is making continuous progress in life. God programmed everyone to be successful and he wants it on a continuous basis. But I said to be successful, you must be successful. If you want totality of success, you must be successful in seven areas. How many areas? Before you can say I'm totally successful. There are seven areas you must be successful in all those areas before you can be termed successful. And I looked at, we are looking at the seven determinants, seven what? Of total success. Seven determinants of total success. Totality of success. Total success. Seven determinants of total what? Success. So I said number one is spirituality. Number one is what? How spiritual you are determines success because if you are not spiritual, and then the second area where determines success is right mentality. It's right what? It's right mentality because if you are so spiritual, you're also be successful in your mind. Is that through? Praise the Lord. I took time to teach on that, and then I said the third area to be successful is your body. Is your what? Many don't know that they have to be successful in their body because without your body, every other thing will not work. And I gave an example of Steve Jobs, the founder, one of the co-founders of Apple, where he was successful, he had money, but he was sick. So he died at 59. Is that clear? So you must take care of your Body, don't play with it. This body of sin is very important to take care of it. Are you hearing me now? Very important. Very important. Very important. Very important. One man of God, if you're preaching, you say very important. Now, number four. Number four, determinant of total success is capacity building. Capacity what? Capacity building. Success ought to be updated for it to count. Once success is obsolete, then it is called failure. Capacity in this contents is an individual's potential power, ability, or competence to produce at a given level. I define it again. Capacity in this context is an individual's potential power, comma, ability, or competence to produce at a given level. So capacity, capacity building is efficiently engaging in inherent ability to carry, so inherent ability you carry to produce acknowledgeable results on a continuous basis. Capacity building is efficiently engaging the inherent ability you carry to produce acknowledgeable results on a continuous basis. All I've said in summary is develop capacity and your productivity will increase. That's what I'm saying. Develop what? Capacity and your productivity worth. Develop capacity and your productivity worth. Increase. If I tell you something I did this morning, be shocked. I typed the word development and they said that the LOP is what was push. It says wrong in English. That the V is what should be push up. We said development. No, it says not wrong. The LOP should be silent. Learning is till you die. Do you what? If you stop learning, you get old. Now, just like the crude oil, for instance, with several capacities, several what? Its value will be limited except the capacity built into it is refined. As a child of God, you'll be limited on the capacity built into you is what? You or him or her is what? Refined. Now, here, First Corinthians 15, verse 10, will give you a better understanding of what I'm trying to say. Shall we read together? But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God was with me. 
Now, the grace of God is available to all of us. Is that true? Paul said, I have the grace of God, but nevertheless, I labored more than Peter, James, and John. Paul was loaded with capacity, like every other person, which is the grace of God. But he said, it took time to do what? To do what others did not do, so nobody could match him. They would not match you. Do you hear me? God has given every believer, every one of us, capacity. There's a, a talent in you. You see, he has given to every man several what? Abilities. Matthew 25 verse 15. There's something inside you. Is that true? But you have to pay the price to do extra. Now hear this and hear me well. Your worth is a function of the capacity you develop. Capacity building and development refines you for higher level of productivity. The value the world will place on you is determined by how valuable you are. I take it again. The value the world will place on you is determined by how valuable you are in business, in career, in anything. Your worth is a function of how you develop yourself. Now, here at the San Yami well, yesterday there was headline news globally of a footballer, a world renowned footballer, his name is called Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi is about 36 now. He will soon retire from football. It, last year, they won the World Cup. Argentina is their captain. And Lalia Messi, when others want to retire, listen carefully, when others are about to retire, their money comes down. They pay them peanuts at retirement. Now, as of yesterday, a club in Saudi Arabia was negotiating with him to pay him 400 million pounds per year. Hello? Hello? Did you hear me? I didn't say 400 million naira. 400 million pounds at a point of retirement. In fact, the real life was 500 million silent. Now, about 400, that's what they want to offer him. They are offering him. <laughs> the guy has about two, three years more to play football. So just imagine the money. Why did they place such amount on a man who is about to retire? He took time to build his capacity. So it's going to, now, before Ronaldo went to Saudi Arabia, they were having few thousands of people who watched their league. Thousands, not even up to a million. But between Ronaldo and Saudi Arabia to now, they have 8 to 12 million subscribers on the internet that watch their food. So their profile went up by one man. By what? Now if Messi will go and join, it will increase, so they know it. <laughs> Hello. So, his capacity is what is bringing him worth. Money. Hello? Capacity builds on common value into what represents and gives you solutions anywhere you're found. It makes it to be outstanding, makes it worth in any given area of life. What am I saying? Pay the price to develop yourself. That's what I'm saying. Pay the worth. Pay the price to do what? As a price you pay, that means the price you get. Get it again. As a P R I C E you pay, that means the P R I Z E you get. So build capacity to solve problems. Build capacity to do what? Solve problems. So here. So I'll be looking at steps for capacity building. Steps of what? How do I build my capacity? Now listen carefully. Everybody has to build word. You have to build capacity. Is that clear? Where you are now is where your capacity has kept you. If you shift your capacity, you increase again. So here. Don't look for more money. Build your capacity. Build your what? To increase your value. Hmm? How to do what? Steps for building capacity. Number A. What are the steps to build my capacity? 
Pastor, I am what I am by the grace of God, but I, I, I study more than Peter, James, and what? So I'm not at their level. It was a polite way to tell them that I'm at this level, it's not by luck. It's not by what? What I did, Peter did not do. <laughs> if you see Ronaldo train, Messi train, they don't train like other footballers when they were younger. So they were building their capacity so when others are retiring, they will still be useful. Do you understand the meaning? Hello. The way the boy who came at first class or the girl who made first class are you, were you the same level? Eh? Is it the same level? No, they, were, they build their capacity. The way they read is different. When they read, you will be sleeping. When they're reading. Hey, adequate self-evaluation. Adequate what? Self-evaluation. That is proper salvation. It says, examine yourselves. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 5. Examine what? Tell yourself, am I really growing? Be true to yourself. Am I really what? You, even if nobody tells you, you will know yourself. Examine yourself whether you're growing. Growing does not mean having money in the account. In your field, are you what? You're a lawyer. You went to court. 15 cases, you won one. Examine yourself. That means you have not improved. How can you have 15 cases and you won only one? 14 you lost. Then something is what? Examine yourself and say, hey, I'm not reading. I'm, oh, I'm taking poor cases. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you hearing me? You're a doctor. You treated 14 persons. 13 are dead. Examine what? Yourself. Self self examination. Every time your MD is angry with you, you are still blaming your MD. No, no, no. Jesus gave a parable in Matthew 25, 40 to 28. He gave one five, gave one two, gave one one. Why did he give them? He knew their capacity, and each one did something. Is that true? Each one did. So what have you done with what God has given you? Every, say, to every man he gave. So there's something inside you. You have to do something about it. So here. Self-evaluation from time to time is important to build capacity that will be relevant to your world. Those who refuse to develop themselves will always be servants to those who have developed themselves. Your client, their clients are complaining. Your office is complaining. Your family is complaining about your productivity. Then you should do something. Do what? That your results are not adequate. It's time for you to be capacity to match the results. Right here. When a fast-moving world refuses to be fixed with tradition, how can you produce something that lacks touch of excellence and you think people patronize you? When things are not working, have self-worth, evaluation, and begin to know the area to improve upon for excellent results. Oh, I think the way I'm cooking is not good. Every time things are not working, have self-worth, evaluation. Say, look, mm, stop looking at somebody else, evaluate yourself. Say here. Are you hearing me? B, read and develop skill. Read and what? Develop skill. Read and develop what? Skill. Reading books is rubbing your mind with other people's ideas in order to think and eventually reproduce their kind of results. It helps you to connect with other successful minds. There's no area of life where you don't have a material that someone has written upon. Are you coming now? Daniel said, I, Daniel, understood by what? Books. Daniel 9 verse 2. It was understanding that ended the years of captivity in Babylon, Daniel said, I, Daniel, understood that these are true books. You understood that. Look, they don't have to stay beyond 70 years. If Daniel never read, he wouldn't have known that the prophecy was. If you look at Jeremiah 29, read from 10, you see the prophecy of Israel not staying beyond 70 years. Daniel had to read before he saw it and say, Hey, God, we have stayed more than 70. We must live here now. This 70. Sir, here. May your eyes be open in the name of Jesus. You are successful in business, career, ministry, academics, name it. It's time to get materials to find out how to be what? Successful. 
Are you getting me, sir? But in all humility, I saw that things were not going the way it should go. In the area of prosperity, in the area of health, in the area of church growth, I had to pick what? Materials to read in those areas. Are you hearing me? To be out of poverty. To be out of what? There's no gift of prosperity. No gift of prosperity. I have to read. There's no gift of... Are you hearing me now? You, to live in... The, I mean, there's no gift of divine health. Is there any gift of divine health? They say there's gift of healing. Is there any gift of divine health? One has to read to live in sound health. So I hear. It's building capacity for successful life. It is required by everybody. If your iron be blunt, what did he say? Exodus 10 10. So build yourself, sharpen your skill. Exodus 10. If the iron be blunt, then, and he do not wear the head, then must it be put to more strength. But we say, private to both? Then it. So sharpen your skill, sharpen your what? Build yourself. Don't waste, don't wait for people to come and do it for you. Don't, don't, they don't have to push you. They don't have to what? They don't have to push you. Training, whether formal or informal, is a major tool for skill development. So train yourself, whether formal training or informal training, for develop yourself. Say so here. That way you become useful. You become what? To your society. See, associate with the wise. Associate with what? If you want to go far, you must associate with successful people. Proverbs 27 verse 17, Proverbs 30 verse 20. Iron sharpened, iron hit that walking with the wise, shall be wise, the command of which shall be destroyed. D, consult the Holy Spirit. Consult who? The Holy Spirit. You cannot consult the Holy Spirit and be stagnant in life. To build capacity, call the Holy Spirit to reveal, instruct, guide, and teach you the right things. Church was not growing. I consulted him. I said, Lord, what do I do? The Holy Spirit said to me, read this book. Read what? This book. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 to 11. Eyes have not what? He is not the heart of the heart of God. Prepare for them. I love him. For his spirit of God said to hear the deep things of God. It's time to call the Holy Spirit to show you the things that you build your capacity. Most times, the Holy Spirit show me the Lord will do it for you. See where we make mistake. Once the Holy Spirit, we ask Him to do things for us. No, ask Him to show you what to do. Many times, do you know instruction from the Holy Spirit is superior to any other thing? Every time we pray, most of us pray, oh God, do this for me. No, ask God to tell you what to do. I didn't ask God to make me rich. I said, God, what must I do to come out of what? Poverty. I didn't say, God, heal me. I said, God, show me what to do to live his divine health. Are you hearing me, sir? I said, Holy Ghost, church was not growing. And I said, Holy Spirit, what do I do? He said, read this book. And from that book, I knew that home cell is the backbone of church growth. So I hear Number five, sociability. Sociability. Sociability simply means social success. It means what? Social success. Number one is what? Spirituality. Number two, right? Mentality. Number three, healthy living. Number four. Number four is your own. What did I say? Number four. Oh. Capacity building. Capacity what? And number five. Determinant for total success is sociability. To be social. Social what? Now, we are destined for the top. I hope you know that. Now, it says you shall be above only. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. Success in life has nothing to do with what you gain or amass for yourself, but what you do for others to succeed and live with. Do you know nobody will ever remember you for how much you amass? I want to know to a point where your focus will not be money. Your focus will be living something that people remember you for. I'll be very practical in my teaching. Nobody remembers Steve Jobs for how much he kept in the bag. We remember him for Apple. <laughs> Listen, nobody will remember you for how much you have. They will remember you for what you left. What is it that you left? 
Do you remember Steve Jobs for how much he had? You remember him for Apple, the product he left. So, what is it they should remember you for? If you have impacted nobody, then nobody will remember you. In your little way, let one person say, if not for this woman, I won't have known Christ. She changed my story. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sociability. There's no success without sacrifice. There's no what? Without sacrifice. There are different kinds of success. We have financial success, we have vocational success, we have ministerial success, etc. But there's also social worth, success. There's also social success. Social success means, so, I'm defining it. Social success means is sociability. <laughs> social success means succeeding through companionship. Succeeding through what? With friends or associates to accomplish your dream or vision. I take it again. Social success means succeeding through companionship with friends or associates to accomplish your dream or vision. It means to be fleshly in your environment. It means to be fleshly in your what? Environment. To be socially successful, sometimes you have to go an extra mile in intelligence. You have to go an extra mile in what? I'll be a bit fast because I have a lot to do, so you, you have to run with me a little. Intelligence is identifying the right people you need on your journey of life and associate with them. The people you associate with will either make you or marry you. It is not just associating with the right people that matters, but the people that will enhance your chances, opportunities of changing level to greater height. People that you serve as a passage to high places in society. When I go further, you understand. People that will change, are game changers to your life and status. To attain social success, you need associates, associate with people who are professionally or mentally smarter than you. They must be what? Professionally or mentally smarter than you. People you know are better than you in your chosen field. People who are ahead of you. Hebrews 6 verse 12, that's where I'm going. He said, that ye be not slothful, but followers of them will through faith and patience inherit what? The promises. Let me give you an example. The poor cannot be a friend to the poor. Otherwise, you'll be poor. To come out of poverty, you must associate with the wealthy. You are as poor as, as your friends you keep. And you are rich as the friends you keep. I repeat, you are as poor as the what? The friends you keep. And you will be wealthy as the friends you keep. Now, I'll give you biblical examples of social success. Biblical example of what? Social success. Biblical example of social what? Success. A typical example, so you understand what I'm talking about. Because all this grammar, if I don't give an example, you, you say which kind of grammar, grammar, grammar. Roman figure one, Joseph. Roman figure one is who? While Joseph was in prison, he did something. <laughs> he identified with the butler who came from the palace. You know the butler was in prison. You know the story of the butler? It was the butler who interpreted dream to that introduced Joseph to the palace that made him a prime minister. How many know the story? Hello. When in Genesis chapter 12, 40, 12 to 15, you read it. it. The butler came from the palace. From where? So Joseph saw that look for him, my dream is to be where? In the palace. So he did not associate with other prisoners. He looked for the man who can move him to the next level. Are you getting what I'm saying? Who are you relating with? He saw that butler as the person who knows the king and he knows. That's why the man was to say, look, as you're going, make sure me to what? The king. And when Pharaoh had a problem, the butler said, there's a young man in prison who can solve this matter. Just imagine if he was relating with the gatekeeper. In 
Social success. Relate with people who will take you to where you want to go to. Are you hearing me? You are poor. Your friends are poor. I can tell you you remain poor. If you are poor, your friends should be the wealthy. You don't go to beg them money. You go to find out how they became rich. Then you too will be rich. If you are poor and you befriend the poor, I can tell you you end poor. Are you hearing me? Every poor man don't befriend poor people. It's not pride. Your friends should be the wealthy people. You must not see them read their books. Then you think like them. You begin to listen like them. You find out how they became wealthy. You can't surround yourself with riffraffs and expect to be a wealthy man. So here. Another example is Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and what? Number two. These three Jewish boy, young men associated with Daniel who was a palace official. They were close to Daniel. Daniel was already in the palace. You remember it was Daniel who introduced them to the king. True? He said there are young men here. You need to appoint them. True? Are you hearing me? Their status changed for better in the land of captivity. If you read Daniel chapter 2, 17 to 19, 48 to 49. He made a request to the king for the appointment of Shedai, Meshach, and Abednego as governors, as what? Rulers of provinces, which was granted. The next person you meet will be the right person. Yeah. May every wrong person in your life be taken away. Yeah. Shout aloud, amen. Yeah. Yeah. The third example from scriptures is Ruth. Is who? Ruth number three. Roman figure three. Ruth intelligently stayed connected to Naomi, her mother-in-law, we introduced her to Boaz that turned her destiny around. People say, God send me a destiny changer. No, you place yourself with somebody who will change your destiny. Ruth 1, 14 to 18. Always stay connected to those who will lift you and not bring you down. My association with Mike Mudok was what changed my writing ministry, in publishing ministry. Is that true? He taught me how to write books. So here, I didn't go to Mike Mudok for money. He, he is the secret behind me publishing books. I came at this, the Greek philosopher said, once said, give me a lever long enough and place to stand and I can move the world, unquote. The right people you associate with serve as that lever and platform to influence your world and enhance your social success. If you want to be an ego personality in a society, then locate the hu human egos around you or your field of endeavor and connect with them. So here. How to take advantage of your right association for your social success. How to take what? Advantage of your right association for your social success. Go for the following. A. Other people's intelligence and effort. Other people's intelligence and what? Effort. Other people's intelligence or knowledge is a powerful leverage factor for social success. This is a situation where you develop the ability to tap into the knowledge and experience of others than trying to get everything on your own. Now, just imagine me trying to say that prosperity, I'll know it on my own. Somebody has known about it, Bishop Edeko, all I need to do is to read his books. Is that true? And from him, I gain speed. You are not the first. So you tap into what somebody has what? done and get that knowledge to enhance your value to be useful on the earth. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So I hear. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, 9 to 11, it says... Two are better than what? One, because they have a good reward. If they fail, the one shall lift up another. Try, even Jesus, the Son of God, did not walk alone. Did not walk what? He had his own associates with the apostles. No wonder his success was much less. You must look for somebody to join you. Are you hearing me, sir? Don't do it alone. Use other people's intelligence and effort. Are you getting me? 
A wise man said, if I'm seeing fire, because I'm on the shoulders of those who are ahead of me. Somebody has gone somewhere, bring him. Bring what? Just imagine me alone doing this mission. Is it possible? Hello? Is it possible? I have people. So I use their brain to join my own brain to succeed. What I don't know, I ask them. I do what? You'll be very proud if you don't ask me a question. It's a sign of arrogance. I ask the general pastor that me, I say, hey, um, you are very good in this area. What do you think? Give me one or two reasons why. And when they give me, me, I now improve because my own head is, and I cook it. They say, Papi, I just give one point, you'll give me four. Well, you say, hey, I'll do it alone. Just imagine me, as I came back from Lagos doing this thing alone, you would die. Tap into the intelligence. Add into the intelligence of others and add it to your own. Is that true, sir? Mm? B, other people's contact. Other people's what? Other people's contact. In relating with the right people, you must be smart to wisely utilize the contacts or connections to succeed. Other people's connections to succeed. Their contact may be relationship that, have, that they have with other important people that can be beneficial to you. Now, Joseph, let me understand what I mean. Joseph utilized the content of the butler with Pharaoh. Is that true? To break out of security to where? Prominence and significance. What he did was, he saw the butler, so he used his contact to enter to Pharaoh. Do you understand what I mean now? She dark mission Abednego used the contact of Daniel to reach the king. Is that true? So you can use other people's what? Do you know if I carry to Edeko, Edeko will give you attention. But if you go, nobody will say to you. Through? So you can use me to reach him. They want to reach your Edeko now. They will, they will, if you like, start in Kenya land from now to tomorrow. <laughs> but you can use me to reach him one hand. There are people you use, other people's contact to reach where you want to go to. Are you understand what I'm talking about? Glory to God. Hmm? When relating with successful people, I said, don't go for material things. Try to know what they know. And it's not success. Social success is indispensable. Is it what? Social success also includes your family. Also includes your what? Family. Family success has to do with leading your family in the way of the Lord. Just like Abraham, Genesis 18, verse 19. Don't be too busy in social success that you forget to train your children. Are you hearing me, sir? Today, marriages are crumbling. Children are becoming wild and wayward. Please, we must have time to do what? To train our children. Let's return to godly values in taking care of our families for us to be socially successful. So here. So what have I said in summary, all this grammar? Choose your friends and keep your family relationship intact. That's all I've said. That's all the summary of all this big English. Choose your friends and keep your family relationship intact. Choose your friends. Choose your what? Friends. All poor people, hear me? Leave your poor friends. It's not pride. They will take you nowhere. If they were, I were taking you somewhere, they would have taken you since you became friends with them. Poor man, leave your poor friend. Otherwise, you remain poor. You have to relate with a wealthy man through his books to know what to do to be wealthy. Are you hearing me? If you stay around, so, some of you, your problem is your friends. We are classmates. You remain in the same class. We are what? Classmates. So two of us remain what? The same class. Classmates. So you still remain in the same class. If you want to leave that class, you must go to another person who is not your classmate. Just imagine me. 
Not related with the wedding board. You can't be here. Okay, what would anybody in my class tell me? They will tell me what they know. And what they know cannot carry me to anywhere. So I have to relate with a man who knows more than me. Do you understand how it is? No. It's not pride. It's not what? If you want to succeed, choose. Check the whole Bible. Check the whole Bible. All the people that shifted, the apostles related with who? Jesus. True? Eh? Okay. You check. Okay. Sit down. Check all your friends before I, before I tell you to get off. Check your friends. When you go now, look at the telephone or your telephone list. <laughs> After service now, <laughs> they will call you. <laughs> oh boy, how you doing now? All these people they talk. I'm not going to leave my job. I'm not going to walk out of it. I'm not going to leave my job. I'm not going to go check in the public. You go to the public yourself for checking up. <laughs> checking what? Is that about that? If your level must go beyond chicken, would you want chicken in public yourself? <laughs> Are you guys now? You know, you just go sit down and drink. Come on, is that your life? No, oh, that's beyond that. Life is beyond that. Life is beyond that. I tell you, maintaining a good name. Maintaining what? Every name strikes. Some of you, when you call your name, that strikes trouble. So when they call you, so be conscious of your name. So if you even the product of your name is not good, they say fake, fake, fake drugs, fake drugs. That shop, fake, fake things they sell, fake, fake things. If you want success to be lasting, protect your name. Protect what? Your name. There are names you call. Not one, not two. Somebody carried a book, Life Story in Houston, Texas, that was calling me, and carried a book, Business Exploits, with my name. And they were doing OTC, Conference of Oil and Gas, and a top person in the oil and, industry, oil and gas industry saw the book and said, I know this man. Do you know him? He said, well, it's my in-law. That was the only thing. He just opened all like this, bah, to the person. He says, ah, your name opened up for me. He said, they saw him. He said, you know, Mrs. Mylo. He said, eh, no appointment. He said, give him my direct number. He said, for a lot to that one, say, give him, give him. This is a top person he cannot meet naturally. Just my name opened the door. Some for him. He's hearing this message as we're talking. He said, my name just opened the door for him. The man said, give him my direct number. If they call your name, what is it people will remember? Rise to your feet. Oh my God. Number one, spirituality. Number two, right mentality. Number three, healthy living. Number four, capacity building. Number five, sociability. And then the last service I will take, maintain a good name and posterity. Glory to God. Say, Lord, I put them to practice. I'll live a life that will reflect the old seven. I'll live a life that will reflect the old seven. Now, let's don't go home and just get seated. Go home and challenge yourself to improve your worth. Capacity. To improve your worth? To improve your worth? Capacity. So don't think that you're the worst. Me too, I grew from one local level to this level. So you can make yourself useful to the world. The value, how you make yourself what? Valuable, that means they value the place on you. So make yourself what? Valuable by doing the things I've told you now. They are not gifts, they will not drop on you. Even your husband will not respect you if you have no value. No man respects a woman that's of no value to him. It's a nuisance. When the woman is of value, the man can't play with her. Before she even open her mouth and say, yes, 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 what do you want? But when you have no value, you become a burden to the person. Make sure you make yourself what? Valuable. Make yourself what? Even to your husband, make yourself valuable to him. Look at an area and solve his problems. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Lift right and say, Father, I receive grace to put all I've heard to practice. Begin from now in the name. Now grace is released 
to make things work in the name of Jesus. You will never disappoint God. Now, the prophetic with David Ibiomi. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Go, the month of May shall be your best month. This month of May, I decree everything to work in our favor. For your sake, policies will turn. God will turn things in our favor. Even if things are going contrary at the first time in our favor. In the name of Jesus. The yoke is broken. Your lifting has started. It is well with you. In Jesus' name. You are God's most prized possession. Your worth to Him is incomparable. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. Not the sin, not the pain, not your shame. Jesus says, All that the Father giveth to me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will no wise cast out. John chapter 6 verse 37 God is waiting for you with open arms. Come to him as you are. He will give you life, freedom, peace, transformation. Wherever you are, pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Now with my mouth, I declare you Lord over my life. Thank you, Father, for saving me. In Jesus' name. Thanks for watching. To watch our live services, visit our website at www.smhos.org. If you want us to pray or counsel you, please call. You can also stay connected through any of our social media accounts. This message was brought to you by Salvation Ministries, home of success.